Hey y'all, it's Jennifer. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with a video that is all about my new bookshelves. I recently got some new bookshelves and I took some footage of getting everything settled and put in the way that I like. There is still a lot of work yet to be done on them, but I am personally just really thrilled with how things look right now. This has been a long time coming. I have been saying for a very long time that I needed to redo my bookshelves. And in fact, really in all the time that I've been on booktube, I have never had a setup like this. I have never had multiple bookshelves in one area and certainly not in a way that I thought was aesthetic or pretty or something to be proud of. So I am just really happy that I did this for myself, but I did not do an intro. So I thought that I would film one now at the end of the process. I am feeling really high on them right now. I'm sure that a lot needs to be done and I'm sure that over the next few weeks, I will probably be reorganizing quite a bit as I decide where I think things really ought to go. But right now, I think this is really going to work well for me. I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that it's very relaxing for you because there's certainly a bit of footage of me just placing books on the shelves. But I thought that I would film this process and share it with you. I'm really excited. about to spray paint these. I'm going to give them a clear coat first because this is marble. So it's kind of slick. So I'm going to give them a clear coat so that the gold spray paint has something to grip onto. But I'm going to do this before it gets so hot. Okay, so the shells are up. They are starting to get into position. The main thing that has kind of been a time suck so far uh, has been the shelf that I had originally. So all three of these shelves are actually the same shelves from Target. They are very cheap. I will link to them down below if you want them. I don't know that I necessarily recommend them because you can just see from the backboard alone that they're not the best. But for a wide variety of reasons, I really wasn't that interested in investing in something that was of a higher quality right now. This is my bedroom. It's on the top floor of the house. It gets really, really hot. I've had furniture in this room that has bowed out and constricted and stuff uh, just as the seasons change as it gets really hot and as it gets really cold. So I just went with these also because I already had this shelf. And so my idea was just to keep everything very cohesive. And I didn't really just want to get rid of this shelf. It's done very well for me, but this shelf is one that when I got it, we put like contact paper on the backboards of because I really wanted this cottage core vibe. I still do because cottage core or maybe light academia, that's kind of my natural aesthetic. So I wanted to put something back there to kind of cover up the backboards. I hated that contact paper so much. Y'all may remember it. And I wish I had taken kind of a before picture of this, but it was very yellow and the color of the flowers in it was very primary toned. And I'm just much more of a pastel girly. So almost instantly after putting that on there, I really disliked it. And it was a pain to try to take off. I've tried to take it off before. We tried again this morning. So we just decided to give it a quick coat of paint. So that shelf is kind of off camera right now and we're waiting for it to dry. These are also going to move because even though to me they are the prettiest books that I own, the Oxfords, they're white. I am also uh, maybe the tone of what you might call the risen dead. So I don't need white behind me. I have learned this the hard way when I've been filming in the past. The colors of my walls in my room are a very light green. But nearly every time that I film in here, I look really washed out and the walls, in my opinion, actually look white. So I think I'm going to do myself a favor and put some really bold colors behind me because I think this area is probably where I will film the most, kind of where uh, the four shelves join. I'm nervous right now. I'm really nervous because I really truly don't think that I have gained that much space. One thing about these shelves is that there is a very large gap at the bottom. There are one, two, three, four, but there should be five shelves. I'm thinking about going to Home Depot later today and I'm going to get them to cut me one just to see if it works because there is a lot of wasted space at the bottom of the bookshelves. That is one thing that I really hated about this shelf that I have had all these years. And I've always intended over the years to get another shelf and just 
see how it went. But as with everything that I intend to do, I never got around to it. But so far, this shelf right here is going to be the TBR shelf. I think I'm really excited about that. I mentioned in, I think, one of my last vlogs that I have like a small TBR shelf where you're standing right now. And I think it's really therapeutic and I think it's really motivating to move things off of that TBR shelf onto a red shelf. So I am excited. I think this is going to take some more working around, but I've ordered a pizza. So once I have some pizza, I feel like I'm going to have more energy to get back into this, but the reorganizing is definitely coming. But the book ends, I think they look great. They're sitting outside drying right now. I think they look great. I will show you them when they're finished. But this is where I'm at currently. is the current state of the shelves. So I think this is about where I can get them. This bottom section is I think the section you can see that we're going to have a lot of problems with. This is where there's clearly more space to have another shelf. It's the same at the bottom of every one of these shelves. I hate this area. It's so funny because really I know that this is just supposed to be about books that you have and books that you own, books that you've read. But to me, this is just so unesthetic that I really, really dislike this shelf. 
In other places, the books are all the same size, and so I just think it makes more sense. For example, right here, this is a bunch of series, a bunch of books by the same authors, so I feel like they're all in the same size area. This is an open gap. I don't really know what I'm going to put there. My thinking is that this corner here, this intersection is where the majority of the filming will take place. So I really wanted something bright behind me and I think this was a really good idea. But this is really my favorite shelf because it's aesthetic and it's pastel. It's pretty, everything goes together. The open space here is because I don't have the last book in the Twisted series. And I know it's big, I know it will take up some space. That's one thing that I have been trying to do and try to be conscientious of is when I have series, I am trying to leave space for the next book. Like this is a trilogy, only two books are out. I know a third book is coming in October. So it just made sense to me to put these on their side. Here's another area, even though I didn't really care for the stolen air, I think I'll probably continue on. This wound up being the Penguin English Classics shelf. I have had so many thoughts about this. I've just gone back and forth on what I want to do with this. I love this clock. This clock was one of my inspiration pieces, <laughs> but I'm trying to have a long talk with myself about keeping things on my shelves that I don't necessarily intend to reread. And I think more than a few of these are books that I either didn't enjoy or they're just in general books I don't intend to reread. Very much the same with these, very much the same with them. In fact, I don't like their spines, so that's why I put them up really high. These are, of course, the bookends that we spray painted. I like the color of the gold, but I'll be honest with you, it's a lot darker than what I thought. And I also don't think it really goes with these books. But I did take a picture and I sent this to some friends and they were all like, wow, that looks so great with those books. So maybe I'm the one that's in the wrong there, but I just feel like tonally it is very dark against something kind of bright. I'm just really happy with this, frankly. I'm gonna wait and do like a bookshelf tour once I get those second shelves. If I feel like that'll take a really long time, then I'll go on and do one. But this is the current state of them, and I just think it looks really, really great. Basically the only area that I think really needs a lot of work other than that really ugly shelf down there on the right, uh, is that I really do think that my TBR shelf needs some work. I made this entire left shelf TBR, but I have things on this shelf that I'm gonna be honest with you, they're not really high priorities for me. For example, these Anthony Trollope books, 100% not at the top of my TBR. I just think the covers are really pretty. And in the interest of keeping things aesthetic, I think they look really nice on the shelf. But right here, some of these books on this shelf are books that I would say are not near the top of my priority list, more than a few of them. So I just wonder if that should be something that goes on a TBR cart versus a TBR shelf. I really like this shelf too. I feel like these are some of my higher priority books. And up here, I try to keep this series that I'm really interested in. And so like in this case, I actually have all three in this series. I made the decision to keep series together, whether I had read them or finished them or not. So some series I may have read one book in, but I've not read the sequels. I just kept them together anyway. This is the only exception. I have read Chain of Gold, but I haven't read Chain of Iron or Chain of Thorns. To be frank, I put them all together on the TBR just because I'm going to have to reread Chain of Gold, but my gosh, is the cover not gorgeous? I do think in terms of decor, this really needs a lot of work. We'll see. This is going to be very flexible because I really just want the shelves to be together before that happens, but I really do like the idea of decorating. I like having these little vignette places, so I'm really excited. This is the current state of the shelves, and I am really, really happy with them. I think at this point, I'm just gonna let it go for the time being. I really feel like the shelves at the bottom, that's gonna be something that I wait a couple of weeks on at least. I don't wanna work on this constantly because it was really exhausting bringing all of these books in here. The unfortunate thing is that I think even if I get an added fifth shelf on each one of these shelves, it's still not gonna be enough room for the books that I have. 
and I'm just gonna have to accept that every shelf is not going to be aesthetic. Everything is not gonna be in line height wise or be a beautiful hardcover. Now I see why people are so attached to hardcovers, you know, because that was never me. Hardcovers are very unwieldy. They are not really great to read in my opinion, but now I see why people covet them because they do look really, really nice on your shelves. But I think I will make those lower shelves the ones that are the most unesthetic, let's say, because I don't think they will ever show up in a picture for like bookstagram or anything like that. And I also don't think that I would ever really just sit straight on the floor and sit in front of them. So I don't think it would be that noticeable. Most of y'all will probably say, Jenny, who cares? But I really care because I like an aesthetic. And I think that was part of the reason why I wanted these bookshelves at all, is that I just wanted them to be <laughs> aesthetic for them to look like a home library. And I'm really, really happy with them, honestly. I think once that shelf is added in, that'll mean that in general, I have four more shelves. I still don't think it means that I will have enough room for every book, but that's okay because I didn't get rid of the shelf that was stacked two and three deep. And so I can still put some books there, particularly books that I would say are maybe A, not a high priority, or just in general, B, books that are probably not books that I intend to revisit anytime soon, or just in general, they're books that I intend to keep, but that I don't necessarily feel like I need on the shelf. So that might be like reference books, that might be things that were old textbooks. Some of those things I'm really interested in keeping as a keepsake, but they don't necessarily need to be sitting on my bookshelves. But now I want to really evaluate my shelves downstairs and I wanna see if I wanna move some things around because there are some pretty things on those shelves downstairs. But at the same time, I've wanted to rework how that shelf works that I normally film in front of. I really think it has looked the same for a very long time. So what might be great is that I can kind of alternate things, especially now, now that this is set up, this is the one that I had the biggest question about. Because really once I finish these, it's not like there's a lot of room on these other shelves for them to move to once they're technically off of my TBR pile. So I would have to either put them back on this shelf, which kind of eliminates the idea of this being the TBR shelf, or they could kind of move downstairs but I just don't know. I mean, really, I think this is gonna have to be flexible. It's going to be a work in progress. I'll add in those extra shelves probably in a different vlog, but right now I just have to say that I think this was a delight from start to finish. I'm personally really glad that I did it. And right now I have very little complaints about the shelves. I do think it would be nice if they came with that fifth shelf in there, but I recognize that now a lot of the times bookshelves are genuinely decor pieces. They are not necessarily intended to always be a functional bookshelf. They're meant to have like little pretties <laughs> sitting around in them. And I think in a bookcase like this, that was probably by design that that lower part would be decor space and it would not really be functional as a bookshelf. Though of course that's really what I've always needed, but I just think they look great, I'm happy. And really, that's what matters. I think that we can add in decorative pieces here and there as we go. I think that's the thing that I'm a little bit disappointed by, actually. If I was to say I was disappointed about anything, is that I definitely thought when I got these, all of the books would have their space. And in fact, I actually thought there would probably be extra shelf space that I could fill in with extra books as time goes by, like as I bring in more for the TBR. I was being a sweet summer child. Let's just be honest, because I don't have the space that I thought that I was gonna have. But I think that's what disappoints me the most is thinking that I had all these ideas about how I was gonna decorate the shelves. And now really I am just left with what's in front of them. And I think it'll be hard to really decorate something like a TBR shelf when I foresee myself pulling books off of it here and there. So this is not really gonna be something where I think I put in a lot of lights or any garland. I've never liked that anyway. I don't know that that's necessarily my vibe to put the ivy hanging down them. I don't know that that would really look that great in here anyway, but I think it would be unwieldy with these shelves. So the decoration part of it, that's also going to be a work in progress, but I thought I would take you along for this ride. I hope that you really enjoyed it, but that is going to be all for me today. I hope you're all having a great week. Happy reading. Goodbye.